lift a little bit. Thank you. All the best with this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. New, like uh, buildings, new, everything's new. But it's the same kind of a light, the same kind of landscape, a little bit. But where I live, you know, where you, you have uh, Olympics uh, Sochi coming up. We were Vancouver, the last Olympics, and we're, we're yeah, yeah, so you see, it's very beautiful there. Beautiful mountains and stuff. Yes, I do. I mean, I think that at the end of the film, Cole has realized that he must go, that he has to go and explore his life, that he's um, made things all right with a girl, um, that it's a bit bittersweet for his nephew and for his sister because, you know, the, the family's being split up a little bit, but it, change is inevitable and the change for him is positive, you know. I think that... Um, I tried to be as truthful as I could without, you know, making a kind of a fake happy ending. But at the same time, I wanted the film to feel, not to feel too depressing, not to feel, often, you know, uh, independent films, especially about family problems and small towns, they can be very, um, very tragic, very uh, hard. And if the film was too hard, I think it would be, it would be hard for people to stay with this movie. I wanted to give the, make the film, uh, I wanted to make an accessible film, a film that an audience could relate to and see the truth in, but that would also feel like entertained by it and leave the theater feeling um, a little bit uplifted, a little bit. So theory, you want to entertain your I think it's important. I mean, I've been making films for 10 years, and this is my, Cole is my eighth film. And since shooting Cole, I've shot two new movies, which I'm in post-production on right now. And in the last, from Cole, really, uh, the last sort of few films, I've tried to make an effort to be more um, aware of uh, the audience, the general audience, not just the rarefied kind of art house audience, uh, but something that is a little bit more paying attention to the idea that not everyone in the audience is, um, you know, a film scholar or uh, an intellectual, you know, try to make a film that has a kind of mainstream appeal, that has a universality. I think that's important. I mean, I think that you can't spend this kind of money, and Cole's a small film, but you can't spend this kind of money on a movie and not be aware of, of the audience. And the audience doesn't want to have to work too hard to follow the story. And I think I, I did a film here uh, that I played here in 2004 or 2005 called Emil with uh, Ian McKellen beautiful film. Uh, it was a very personal film for me. Um, I think sometimes that the movie was uh, visually a bit complex for some people. A little bit like because it was a bit surreal. It made sometimes it difficult for people who are, you know, just needing to follow the story in a more simple way. So Cole is a very simple film. But I like that about it. It's a film that my mother will watch but that my kids also like. Which is a nice spread. Yeah, I mean, I didn't write the screenplay for Cole, so the, the script for Cole is not my personal story. It's not something I physically wrote. I sometimes, as a director, do a lot of work on the script once I start directing, so I'll start to apply certain ideas to the script, make certain adjustments to the script, especially because, you know, we're shooting in a particular place or I'll have certain actors that I'm working with and I want to personalize the film. But thematically, very personal, yeah. I mean, that's why I took the film on, because for me as a director, if I, I, I have a sort of a code a little bit as a director. If I'm looking for a project, I, I have a, uh, um, I don't know how to say this well, but it's like when you make a choice about the kind of film you're going to make, it has to speak to you personally. And for me, I think I have a kind of a moral, uh, uh, sort of a, a, a 
moral question that I ask about every movie. Is this movie saying something to me personally? And does this movie present an idea that I think is important to explore, that I think an audience will relate to, but that I also think is a valuable theme, something that, uh, that, that I want to talk about? And in this case, I mean, it's a, it, the, 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 the themes in Cole, there's very much, it's a very much a story about the relationship between a young man and his, uh, and his town where he comes from. The, the very complicated feelings around uh, loving this place and being from this place, but also wanting to get out of this place and kind of hating aspects of this place because it, he feels trapped, you know. And I think we all uh, come from someplace. Some of us come from towns, some from bigger cities. But we all, as human beings, feel this urge to go forth and explore. We want to go somewhere and we want to learn something and we want to develop in a different way that point where you really want to get away from your home and go and find your new home, a new place. And that's a very complicated but universal theme. And then I also felt like the, the, the concept of um, the, the racial question in the movie was interesting to me. I, I think that every culture nowadays, but especially in North America, you know, we deal with people coming from everywhere all the time. And I think that to, to uh, explore the concept of, you know, one's uh, uh, racial and cultural differences is, is, a, is a beautiful theme. I think that it, it's, um, never, it's never a precisely cut and dry for a person, though. And I think that Cole leaves, at the end of the movie, he leaves to take the young boy to, to his, where his father lives. You know he's going to go and, and start school in the fall. He's probably going to continue his relationship with the young woman, but he'll always be connected to this place. He'll always have obligations there. He'll always have his sister He'll always have the family business and these things that draw him back to the place. But I think he's made a step forward. I think he's solved some of his problems. But in life, we don't solve all of our problems. So I think movies, I don't think movies have to be exactly like in real life. I mean, it would be too complicated to make movies like that. We need a shorthand in a film, something that gives us a, the ability to leave the theater feeling satisfied in some way. But I think it's too simplistic for all the, all the problems to be solved. So I, I like that there is some ambiguity there. there. I think there should be. But overall, you feel like the main character has taken a step. A step. Uh, what about the relationship with Ben? The whole uh, two works. Yeah, we did. I did a, a second film with Richard this past year. We've just, we're still cutting the movie. Um, it's a very, very different role for him. Uh, I met Richard on Cole, so it was the first time I worked with him. And... You know, he's a very ambitious, very um, uh, driven young actor. He's an actor who has a great deal of talent and, and, you know, has become a good friend. And I think that as a director, if you can find people that you have, you develop a relationship with and you have a shorthand with, it becomes really easy to continue working with them. It becomes like a company, you know, where you make, a, a, I don't know, a lot, of, a lot of directors, like some of my heroes, people like Mike Lee in the U.K., they have a sort of group of actors that they enjoy working with and they come continually work with. And it, it's nice because often with an independent film, you don't have the luxury of days and days and days. You don't have four months to shoot the film. So you have to be able to start on your first day and make everything count. And when the actor is someone who's very close to you and you're familiar with and you have a, a shorthand with, it's really easy to step onto the set and make good choices. So um, it, it's been interesting. 